bruises. Some families even prefer to have a dead daughter than to have a divorcee as a child, even when the husband is physically abusing her. Some men wouldn't even want their wives to work because they know that when they are, when they're actually financially stable, they can actually hey work. Guys, this channel is about hair, DIY, lifestyle, and many more. So stay tuned. And the say she dressed indecently. And I asked, what about the child who was raped? Does she know anything about dressing? And the say she was disrespectful to her husband. That's why her husband beat her. There is no excuse for abuse. And abuse is an abuse. That child could be your child. That raped woman could be your sister, could be your mother, could be your friend. What are you doing about it? Us the taking over team, we are here to be a voice for the voiceless. Don't die in the pain alone. Speak up, speak out. You can be dying in your closet while your rape or your abuser is there living life to the fullest. We say no to rape. We say no to women abuse. Do you want us to cry tears of blood, tears of pain before you get up and speak and say no to rape? And say no to abuse. Us, the taking over team, we say no to rape, no to abuse. We are tired. We, I mean, we are very sad and tired at the same time. Why all this rape? All those children and women that have been raped are our future children. I mean, our future leaders. They are our future leaders. Women are gifts. We are gifts from God, not gifts or not a property for you. So stop raping us. We are here today to speak on behalf of all those who can't come out to speak. We are here to speak on behalf of them. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are tired. We are tired. If you continue with this art, what? Who will be our future leaders? Who will take care of the world or who will take care of us when we are old? So enough is enough. Domestic violence is a global issue. In Europe, it is estimated that the primary cause of injury and death for women 16 to 44 years is due to domestic violence. In a country in Africa like SA, it was estimated that 40% of women will be raped and only one out of nine cases are reported. And only 14% of perpetrators of rape are convicted. According to WHO, violence affects millions of women in Africa. In our society today, we keep seeing rising cases of rape, we keep seeing rising cases of violence against women. So let's stand up to put an end to this in our society. Do you know what these children go through? Do you know what women go through because of your selfishness, because of your selfish desire? These people go through different types of sicknesses. They are more likely to absorb alcohol. They are, they are more likely to go through depression. Please stop. This is enough. We, the team of taking over, have come to stand for these people. We have come to say no to women. We have come to say no to women. Stop, because this is, these women go through pain. They, move, they are more likely to get a wanted pregnancy. They are more likely to get diseases that can kill. Stop this rape. Stop this rape. We have come to say no. Why do you want to see sexual assault of our young girls these days so rampant? What is our world turning to? Is it that people they don't have conscience anymore? You entice these little girls with sweet and anything available to speak to us into their private parts. Do you know the side effect? Of this sexual assault in case of these young girls. Some of them can't even get close to men. Some of them, because of that, they can't even get married in the future. Why? Because of this pain. The effect is also disastrous. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, it affects them. So my people go ahead to start making young little kids, even boys, their sex toys. This is so wrong. If you want to really have fun, 
there are other girls out there that you can do that with. Other girls that are mature enough. Please, we women from taking over have said this is the time for you to stop. If these girls don't have to focus on for them, we are here to stay. And when you ask them, why did you leave? There's always something to say. They either tell you she's dressed so indecently, she went out late at night, and this drives me into sexual gratification. No, far from it. Far from it. This I just feel say excuse that they put out. The real reason is because of power. They feel they are men. They have the power to overcome us. It's about subjugation. They want us to be subjected to them. <laughs> it is all about the indecent dressing. Why do we have married to rape? It is because they feel they are above us. They feel we are their property. And I say enough is enough. Stop raping us. Stop killing us. We are women. We are your mothers. We are your sisters. We deserve to be respected. If he eats you, if he doesn't respect you, he doesn't deserve you. I refuse to die in silence. I say no to rape. And I say no to domestic violence. Let's say no to rape. We the women from the Taking Power group, we came to speak out for the voiceless. We came to speak out for our women. We came to skip, speak out for our girl child and our ladies. Rape. It is where we are being forced fully to do what we don't want to do, which is sexual intercourse. Real men don't rape. When we are close to you, doesn't mean we want sex. No means no. A girl's body, a woman's body, a lady's body, it is not a toy at all. No excuse for rape. Let's always speak out and expose a rapist. A rapist will always be a rapist. It might happen to someone closer to us or someone very far from us. Let's all need to rapist and protect our women, our ladies and our girls. Do you know that women are even dying from domestic violence faster right now than women are actually being killed by the present 2020 virus going around all over the world? <laughs> Some men are taking this opportunity to punch their wife, kick them because of the lockdown. Because they can't even correct or simply come to an agreement without physically abusing their wives. Some as even say the only way to make your wife respect you, the only way to make your wife see you as the head, is when you punch her, hit her, or give her bruises. Some families even prefer to have a dead daughter than to have a divorcee as a child, even when the husband is physically abusing her. Some men wouldn't even want their wives to work because they know that when they are when they're actually financially stable, they can actually walk away from those abuses or those. I don't even know what to call those kind of marriages. I have no words for them. But today, we the women from the group of taking over have decided to come here and create an awareness against domestic violence. Right now, 2020, now we are speaking on behalf of all the women all over the world and we are saying enough is enough. It is time to stop domestic violence. Stop domestic violence now.